SL family and welcome back to my channel life with Yaya this is your girl Yayoi and today today is an interesting vlog first of all I know it has been a long long time since we last spoke like uh maybe like two months and I know that seems really extreme when I used to go live every Saturday and I was just like, okay, where did Yayoi go? But <laughs> if I was to say, you know, it's been a lot going on, I'm sure that wouldn't suffice. So I I'ma just get past it like it never happened, okay? <laughs> but right now we are having a vlog. I know you all saw the intro. Uh, it, 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 it is um, it is an interesting vlog because there have been a lot of changes that have been happening um, or with myself and with Lux LA. And, you know, let, let's just go ahead and talk about it. So first things first, uh, I had a coma or I was in a coma. I don't know the, the correct way to put it, but I was in a coma. So Lux LA, I showed you all in the previous vlog, a live gameplay. We have a new HUD out called the Lux Life HUD, which allows us to pretty much play like the Sims. Um, we have to take care of ourselves. If you're a Second Life player, then it's like the equivalent of like something like BU, right? So um, basically what happened was uh, I had went to sleep one night with my stats on because on the hood you can turn them on and off and i went to sleep um with my stats on and by the time i woke up i was basically dead so we had a job fair i went to the job fair and some of the people who were at the job fair were trying to help me to get my stats up but it just wasn't helping me completely i was still sick um and so the only option that I had was for me to go to the hospital to take care of myself because otherwise I would die. So long story short, um, after being given all types of drugs and prescriptions and stuff that weren't prescribed to me. Um, and then on top of that, you know, the ambulance was called for me and the ambulance took forever to come to get me. And then I believe at some point the ambulance, the truck, no, my, uh, I was put on the thing that loads you up the bed for the ambulance to go inside of the ambulance. And then they knocked me off of it. I fell off the bed. I fell under the truck, something by that time. I just, I just went unconscious. <laughs> Straight up, I just went unconscious um, on the way to the um, to the uh, hospital. So I got to the hospital and I was checked into the hospital, and that is all that I know until I woke up. So what we ended up finding out from when I went to the hospital is that all the mixtures of drugs and whatnot um, had caused me 
as, as well as all the other, the chain of events that I just described, it all caused me to go into a coma. And I was in that coma for, I want to say, hmm, I want to say I was in that coma for a good, let's see, almost a week, maybe five days to seven days. I'm not completely sure. No, actually about five days because I was, I went into the coma, I believe on a Saturday and I woke up on a Wednesday. Um, and then from then I, um, had to stay in the hospital for the next two days so that the doctor could watch over me. Um, I had friends that came to visit me, um, as well as my new boyfriend, Luca, who took really good care of me. Yes, this is a whole nother vlog. Don't, don't ask no questions for this vlog. Yes, I know. I know. Shocking. Whoa, what happened? But we'll talk about that in another vlog. But yes, Luca came and he took really good care of me. He brought my son um, to visit me as well. Uh, I was so relieved that, you know, my sister was able to care for my son for the majority of the time while I was there, as well as his father, um, who took care of him as well um, during that time. Um, and you know, it was just, it was a lot, you know, and then also it was a much needed break for me in real life. Um, because like I mentioned before, I am doing a lot of stuff in real life that kind of takes away a lot of my attention that I have, um, or the time that I have for second life. But why did I go into this coma? Why didn't I just, you know, fall underneath the, you know, take all these random drugs and let that be the thing. And, you know, fall up under the uh, the ambulance while I was um, passed out and not just stand up and be like, okay, well, take me to the hospital anyway and let me get myself up and then walk out that same day. Because I'm a role player, guys. That's why, okay? When certain things happen in my, in my role play that are traumatic or serious or like events in my life that call for me to react to it outside of just the brushing it off I'm going to do it you know like this was not a, a situation where you know although I have said before that I was looking for a reason to have to go to this hospital because it's such a dope hospital it's so detailed the um the hospital room you know obviously the Lux Life bed itself um it gets all your stats up except for your health and your I mean not your health your hygiene, your um, toilet stat, and your hunger. Um, you get the the hunger stat from the tray of food that sits beside the bed. You click that until your stats go up. And then there is a bathroom inside of the hotel, which allows you to use that and take a shower, use the bathroom, and that gets it up too. So if you ever have an extended stay in the hospital, why not just utilize the entire hospital? Why just go lay in the bed and then leave out, you know? Why not create a whole scenario around you being there? Um, so, yes, that was one of the reasons why I did decide to actually stay into the hospital. But the other one was, again, because I felt like, you know, her having an overdose the way she did, as well as, you know, possibly hitting her head when falling out of the uh, the, um, the ambulance bed thing. Now, I still can't figure out what that's called. Somebody leave a comment and let me know what that's called. I felt like those were all good reasons for why I should have stayed in the coma until I woke up. As well as I haven't had any medical role play outside of when Otto was born. I had, um, I, I pretty much role played the scenario as far as the doctors and the nurses um, by myself for the most part, unless I had my good friend Tandy and my good friend Lauren, who are both doctors in the second life. Um, really good doctors at that um, who were able to join in on the story and then we also had another doctor who you may have seen in the clip or I'm actually may have should be showing her right now who knows right but uh, <laughs> I had another doctor um, Tess who was actually um, a doctor that works for the hospital um, she came and checked by me um, um, checked on me on that last day that I was there or that last night that I was there. Um, so it just gave opportunity for more people to join into the story and Lux because, you know, role play can get real shallow sometimes when you don't have like serious events happening pretty much, you know, like you, you kind of get, you could kind of forget what's happening. So my job for 
for this um, situation and role play was for me to pretty much create an ongoing story and keep the Lux community aware of what my story was to pretty much show commitment to a story, you know, um, showing that you can go have, you can have an ongoing story that lasts for more than one day or an hour or whatever, you know, and it was actually really fun keeping up with the story. Um, and then also, you know, I had people who would message me and obviously I couldn't message back. I didn't message back on social media either because technically Yayoi or myself was not, um, conscious. So I would not have been able to respond to messages. So I just kind of left them there. I don't know if that offended anybody, but Hey, you know, it's role play, you know? (laughs) So that's just what it is, you know? Um, also I did see a few people stop by. Um, at the hospital to just check on me, which is really, really nice. Um, just to see who all cared for my character, or I should say me. <laughs> you know, even though I couldn't see it, the person who I am behind Yayoi, I could see who was stopping by to see Yayoi. So I thought that was really sweet as well. Um, it was just, it gave us more to do outside of just play with our characters and do regular day-to-day activities or get them dressed or create videos for them and dance videos, all that kind of stuff, right? So yeah, that was pretty much the full extent of what happened with my coma, why I went into the coma, you know, all that kind of good stuff. After I got off the coma, I did go on a vacation. Um, it was supposed to be like a relaxing vacation, but I probably did a little more than I should have done with um, with Luca. And um, we went to Mexico, um, Tulum, Mexico. And that was a really good time. Uh, and, you know, ever since then, I have been back to working. I have been easing back into it because I don't want to overwork myself uh, from directly after, uh, being in a coma, but I am starting to get back into the groove of everything. Um, things are going to be a little bit different with the way that I vlog just to update you all. Uh, I will be doing more real vlogs like this one than actual live gameplay vlogs, but I will be fitting in some live game, like gameplay vlogs as well. It's just hard to actually commit to them and, um, say ahead of time, okay, this is my schedule for it or anything like that. But I will slide in some live gameplay vlogs uh, for when it seems necessary or right to do. Uh, But yes, I've been missing you guys and I'm so happy that I'm back and that I'm able to drop some more content for you all. Uh, I won't make any promises of what's next, of what's coming next, (laughs) Um, other than for sure the fact that I will be uh, putting out another Rolling Loud vlog soon. Uh, I'm going to the Rolling Log. I'll say Rolling Log. Rolling Loud concert in Second Life this weekend, thrown by HBAM Entertainment, HBAM. I'm really looking forward to that. If y'all ever, I'm going to um, put up at the top that little information bar. You can see my last Rolling Loud vlog and how lit it was, how realistic that experience was. I'm planning on having that same experience. I have a stage um, that will be dedicated to Life with Yaya. So if you come, you know, take some photos in front of the Life with Yaya stage if you support Life with Yaya, you know. Um, but other than that, y'all, I really appreciate y'all sticking around for this whole time. The The squad is growing pretty much. I, I just watched the subscribers just going up, you know, and I really appreciate you all for supporting. Um, please, you know, remember to like and comment on the videos um and if you do watch the videos regularly and you do like the videos please subscribe to the channel you know make this not be just for no reason you know like let's get some activity and some engagement going you know um but yeah that's pretty much all that's happening right now um i'm looking forward to seeing you all again soon and hey until next time